Medical College and Hospital, Kolkata, commonly referred to as Calcutta Medical College, formerly Medical College, Bengal, is a medical school and hospital in the city of Kolkata in the state of West Bengal, India. It was established in 1835 by William Bentinck. The Native Medical Institution was the first college for teaching medical sciences in the country which was set up in 1822. In course of time the college was shifted to its new location and rechristened as the Medical College. Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research originated as École de Médecine de Pondichéry was established by the French government a year later in 1823. The college imparts the degree Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery MBBS, as well as specialized, M.Sc. Medical, Ph.D. and postdoctoral degrees. Nursing and paramedical courses are also offered. The hospital became the first government hospital to conduct an heart transplant in West Bengal when it carried out an heart transplant on the 17th of November 2018. The hospital had received the license to carry out heart transplant in 2017. Topic: History. The planning The British East India Company established the Indian Medical Service IMS as early as 1764 to look after Europeans in British India. IMS officers headed military and civilian hospitals in Bombay, Calcutta and Madras, and also accompanied the company's ships and army. A utilitarian approach and the need to provide expert apothecaries, compounders, and dressers in different hospitals prompted the earliest official involvement with medical education in India. These subordinate assistants would help European doctors and surgeons who looked after the health of European civilians and military employees and also reduce the company's financial burdens by limiting the appointment of European doctors. On 9 May 1822 the government laid down a plan for the instruction of up to 20 young Indians to fill the position of native doctors in the civil and military establishments of the Presidency of Bengal. The outcome was the establishment of the Native Medical Institution NMI in Calcutta June 1822, where medical teaching was imparted in the vernacular. Treatises on anatomy, medicine, and surgery were translated from European languages for the benefit of the students. From 1826 onwards, classes on Unani and Ayurvedic medicine were held respectively at the Calcutta Madrasa and the Sanskrit College. In 1827 John Tyler, an Orientalist and the first superintendent of the NMI started lectures on mathematics and anatomy at the Sanskrit College. In general, the medical education provided by the colonial state at this stage involved parallel instructions in Western and indigenous medical systems. Translation of Western medical texts was encouraged and though dissection was not performed, clinical experience was a must. Trainee medical students had to attend different hospitals and dispensaries. Successful native doctors were absorbed into government jobs. Towards the end of 1833 a committee was appointed by the government of William Bentinck in Bengal to report on the state of medical education and also to suggest whether teaching of indigenous system should be discontinued. The committee consisted of Dr. John Grant as president and J. C. C. Sutherland, C. E. Trevelyan, Thomas Spence, Ram Kamal Sen and M. J. Bramley as members. The committee criticized the medical education imparted at the NMI for the inappropriate nature of its training and the examination system as well as for the absence of courses on practical anatomy. The committee submitted a report on 20 October 1834, where the Anglicists' point of view finally prevailed over the Orientalists. The committee recommended that the state found a medical college for the education of the natives. The various branches of medical science cultivated in Europe should be taught in this college. The intending candidates should possess a reading and writing knowledge of the English language, similar knowledge of Bengali and Hindustani and a proficiency in arithmetic. This recommendation, soon followed by Macaulay's Minute and Bentinck's Resolution, sealed the fate of the School for Native Doctors and Medical Classes at the two leading Oriental institutions of Calcutta. The NMI was abolished and the medical classes at the Sanskrit College and at the Madrasa were discontinued by the government order of 28 January 1835. The beginning 
The proposed new college, known as the Medical College, which was established by an order of 28 January 1835 ushered in a new era in the history of medical education in India. Its stated purpose was to train native youths aged between 14 and 20 irrespective of caste and creed in the principles and practices of medical science in accordance with the mode adopted in Europe. This marked the end of official patronage of indigenous medical learning which in its turn evoked long-term reaction among the Indian practitioners of indigenous medicine and later the nationalists who strongly criticized the government for the withdrawal of patronage to the Indian system. Different sections of the Indian population responded to this newly founded system of education in different ways. Among the Hindus the Brahmins, Kayasthas, Vaidyas, were particularly enthusiastic about medical education. The activities of the college started on 20 February 1835 with the process of admission of students. Twenty students were selected through a preliminary examination of about 100 students. These boys had received their education either at the Hindu College, Hare School or the General Assembly's institution. Twenty-nine more students had already been selected. All of these 49 students were to receive a monthly stipend of 7 rupees from the government, but it was to be raised gradually. The students were to remain in the college for a period of not less than four years and not more than six years. On completion of their studies the students had to sit for a final examination. Successful candidates were to receive from the President of the Committee of Education certificates of qualifications to practice surgery and medicine. They could also enter public service where they would be called native doctors receiving an initial pay of 30 rupees per month which would be raised to 40 rupees after 7 years and to 50 after 14 years of service. The college was placed under the charge of a full-time superintendent who was assisted by a European assistant. The government was required to provide a suitable building, a library, anatomical materials and other objects necessary for the education of the students. For practical clinical experience the students had to visit the general hospital, the native hospital, the humble company's dispensary, the dispensaries for the poor and the eye infirmary. Dr. M. J. Bramley was appointed superintendent and Dr. H. H. Goodeve and William Brooke O'Shaughnessy were appointed professors. Only one member of the staff of the Native Medical Institution, Madhusudan Gupta an Ayurvedic practitioner trained in Western medicine, was transferred to the new college. The first batches The classes were started in an old house at the rear of the Hindu college. In May 1835, new premises were built on land donated by Muddy Lal Seal. These are the premises that the college has since occupied. During the first year of study, a series of lectures on anatomy and physiology was given. O'Shaughnessy delivered an elementary course of lectures on chemistry from January to March 1836 and a second course from April to September. During 1837 and 1838, the staff of the college was extended and enriched by the appointment of C. C. Egerton as Professor of Surgery and Clinical Surgery, Nathaniel Wallach as Professor of Botany and R. O'Shaughnessy as Demonstrator of Anatomy. The year 1836 was a landmark in the history of the growth of Western medicine in British India since it witnessed the first dissection of a human corpse by Indian students. Madhusudan Gupta is often given the credit of being the first person in modern India to have dissected a human body. But many accounts state that Umasharan Set, Raikrishnada, Dwarakanath Gupta and Nabhan Chandra Mitra comprised the first batch of students to take part in dissection. They passed the first examination held on 30 October 1838 and were declared fit to practice medicine and surgery. They consequently represented the first group of Indians qualified in Western medicine and given government appointments as sub-assistant surgeons to the hospitals at Dhaka, Murshidabad, Patna and Chittagong. Many luminaries of Calcutta including Dwarkanath Tagore and Ram Kamal Sen enthusiastically supported medical education at the CMC by instituting scholarships and prizes for brilliant students. Four students of the college were sent to England through the financial help of Dwarakanath Tagore, Professor Goodeve and partly of the government. Three of them, including Dwaraka Nath Bose, Bola Nath Bose, and Gopal Chunder Seal passed the examination for MRCS member of the Royal College of Surgeons in 1846 and returned to India to join the uncovenanted medical service. Sorjo Kumar Goodeve Chakrabati remained there, obtained the MD degree of the University College of London and became the first Indian to pass the examination for the Indian Medical Service and joined the covenanted medical service. 
He also became a distinguished professor of the medical college holding the chair of Materia Medica from 1864 till his death in 1874. Changes <laughs> 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 In 1842, a Council of Education, which introduced many changes in the curriculum and system of examinations, replaced the Committee of Public Instruction. The new courses of study, based on the advice of the Royal College of Surgeons in London, were introduced in 1844, and were ultimately recognised by them, by the London University and the Society of Apothecaries in 1846. After the foundation of the University of Calcutta in 1857 and its Faculty of Medicine for the award of medical degrees, the courses of study were revised to a certain extent. The university conferred three medical degrees, Licentiate in Medicine and Surgery LMS, Bachelor in Medicine MB, and Doctor of Medicine MD. .The first Muslim medical graduate of this college was Rahim Khan in 1856. Other changes brought about in the college aimed at fulfilling the needs of the state to supply an increased number of medical personnel for employment in the army and for combating epidemic diseases among the civilians. The government order of August 1839 instituted medical classes through the medium of Urdu and Hindustani. Lessons were imparted in anatomy, materia medica, medicine and surgery. Dissections and teaching methods followed Western principles. Fifty students were selected initially. They received a monthly allowance of 5 rupees each and had to undergo clinical training by discharging hospital duties at the Medical College Hospital, founded in 1838. In 1838, a large female lying in hospital started functioning under the benevolence of Muddy Lal Seal. This was followed by the opening of a large hospital in 1853, designed to accommodate 350 patients. Other hospitals were, the Eden Hospital 1881-82, the Ezra Hospital 1887, the Shama Sharan Laha'i Hospital 1891, and the Prince of Wales Surgical Block, opened in March 1911. Before 1857 the number of students taking admission in the maternity class fluctuated between 28 and 69. After 1857 the number increased slowly. At the end of their period of study the students were examined in anatomy, materia medica, surgery and medicine for the diploma of native doctor. To meet the rising demand for native doctors, the government introduced a Bengali class at the Calcutta Medical College in 1851. Proficiency in Bengali was an essential prerequisite for admission to this class. The theoretical and practical courses were almost the same as in the Hindustani class. 21 students admitted in this class were examined in 1853. Qualified students filled the ranks of the subordinate medical services as hospital apprentices or vernacular licentiates in medicine and surgery or found employment under deputy magistrates attached to charitable dispensaries and jail hospitals. In 1856-57, the class had 88 students and the number went on increasing until it touched the figure of 635 in 1872. The students mostly belonged to the Brahmin, Kayastha and Vaidya castes. In 1864, the Bengali class was divided into two sections, the native apothecary section, which trained students for government employment, and the vernacular licentiate section which gave instructions in medicine and surgery in order to enable the students to practice among the less affluent sections of Indians. In 1873, both these classes were transferred to a new school called the Sealda Medical School or the Campbell Medical School. The Hindu Bhadralak class, Europeans and Eurasians dominated the student population. Although during 1880-1890 there was a small increase in the number of Muslim students, their proportion was very small. A resolution of 29 June 1883 allowed the admission of women into the CMC after doing F.A. Kadambini Ganguly, a Bengali Brahmo became the first woman admitted to the CMC. In 1884 the government offered scholarships of 20 rupees per month to all female students. Bidu Muki Bose and Virginia Mary Mitter received these scholarships and became the first Indian women to graduate during 1888-89. <laughs> Growth The growth of the CMC as reflected in the number of students presents an interesting pattern. 
A period of modest rise in the number of students was followed by rapid increase from 1891 to 92 till 190102, and then a fall in 190607, exactly during the period of the turmoil of the Swadeshi movement in Bengal. Thereafter, the increase continued unabated. The number rose from 612 in 1911 12 to 1030 in 1921 22. From the mid 1920s, there was a downward trend which was reversed in the 30s. An important change occurred in 1906 when the Calcutta University decided to discontinue the LMS examination held since 1861 and henceforth confer only the degrees of MB and MD. The last batch of LMS students was examined in 1911. During the 1930s, the system of reservation of seats was introduced, based on the relative population of different classes of people. Further it was decided that of the 100 students taken, five were to be female candidates. Most of the female students belonged to the Anglo-Indian, Christian, Brahmo or Parsi communities. In 1940 the duration of study was reduced from six to five years, to be followed by a six-month period of pre-registration clinical assistantship. The year 1940 also saw the conversion of the Students' Club of the CMC into the Students' Union. Building. The Medical College and Hospital Building also known as the MCH Building is the oldest building in Medical College Kolkata. Topic History In 1835, James Ronald Martin, surgeon of the Native Hospital, suggested formation of a committee which would inquire into the state of the health of the city and suburbs of Calcutta. The reports of the committee contained the idea of setting up a large central hospital to be called the Fever Hospital. A subscription was collected for erection of the building and the government agreed to provide the recurring expenditure. The plans were drawn up by M. S. Byrne & Co., and construction was superintended by Major Fraser & Call. Forbes of Bengal Engineers. The foundation stone was laid by James Brune Ramsey, 1st Marquess of Dalhousie, Governor General of India on 30 September 1848 in the twelfth year of the reign of Queen Victoria. The new MCH hospital was opened for sick patients on 1 March 1852. There was also an OT on one side of the old MCH which was later upgraded in 1902. The diphtheria ward containing 12 beds was constructed on the roof of the old medical college hospital. In case any emergency tracheostomy was required there was a connecting alarm bell to the casualty block which would alert the medical officer on duty to rush to the ward. In 1917, Rai Baldiotas Birla Bahadur donated a sum of 50,000 rupees for the construction of the tuberculosis ward on the eastern side of the roof of the MCH building. The building became partly unusable in the early 1990s, renovation followed. The building was restored and handed over to the college in November 2000. There was a fire at the MCH building on 3 October 2018. No casualties were reported. Affiliation Until the admission of the 2002 batch, the college was affiliated with the University of Calcutta. It is now formally affiliated to the West Bengal University of Health Sciences. Ranking The college was ranked 15th among medical colleges in India in 2017 by Outlook India and 18th by The Week. Administration The college and hospital are funded and managed by Government of West Bengal. Hospital and administrative sections Some of the blocks are Medical College and Hospital Building Ezra Hospital Sir John Anderson Casualty Block David Hare Block erstwhile Prince of Wales Building Eden Hospital Green Building Regional Institute of Ophthalmology Calcutta School of Tropical Medicine Topic: Hospital services. 
Topic General services Outdoor Outdoor services Indoor services Counseling Diagnostic and Investigation The Medical College The college section is situated on the northwest portion of the campus and consists of separate blocks. These are distinguished by its architectures of red brick. The various building are The administrative block with its clock tower. It houses the principal's offices, the general lecture theater, the largest of the three, and constructed in form of a gallery. The college library is situated on the first floor. On the second floor is an examinations hall, which also doubles up as an auditorium. The student's common room and the ex-student's office makes up the rest of the complex. Adjoin the building student's canteen. In front of the administrative block is a small patch of lawn, sometimes referred to as the oval, which is also utilized as a small playground for the students. The adjoining building is the anatomy department. It has the anatomy lecture theater and a dissection hall. It also houses the hospital morgue. The next building is the chemistry department which houses the chemistry lecture theater and the laboratories. It also has the department of forensic medicine and pharmacology. The last building is the pathology department. It also houses the physiology department and the hematology labs, the department of preventative and social medicine, the pathology department with it labs and a huge pathology museum. Topic. Student activities Topic. Students' Union Medical College Students' Union is the only authorized and official representative body of the students. Some of the several functions, festivities organized by MCSU throughout the year are Rhapsody, Annual Social Fest Annual Sports Saraswati Puja Film Festival Periodic Vaccination of Students Batch Picnics Regular Academic Seminars and Some Workshops Rabindra Janti — Commemorating the Birth Anniversary of Rabindranath Tagore Freshers Welcome — Every Year, to Welcome the Newly Admitted MBBS Batch Election Election of MCSU executive members. Topic: Politics. Politics among the students of the institution has rich traditions, with scores of students participating in the Indian freedom struggle. The anti-British movements were implemented in this campus with the programs of Bengal Provincial Students Federation BPSF, the Bengal branch of All India Students Federation AISF. Initial focus of student politics was on the independence of India. Many students were dismissed from their college or were jailed during Quit India movement in 1942. In 1947, a student of this college, Sri Dhiraranjan Sen, died on Vietnam Day the 24th of January police firing. The Vietnam Students Association passed a resolution in its Hanoi session in memory of the Indian student martyr in March 1947. Students' politics in this campus was highly influenced by the partition of Bengal and communal riots during and after the independence 1946-1947. Between 1946 and 1952, medicos of this college stood for communal harmony and worked hard in the refugee colonies. During 1952, some of the ex-students of the college, among them Bidden Chandra Roy who later became the second chief minister of West Bengal, took a major responsibility in the establishment of Students' Health Home for the Welfare of Students. The students also took part in the food movement of 1959. On 31 August, ten students of the college were severely lathi charged by police. Junior doctors also took part in this movement. In the 1950s, 1960s and 1970s the college became a center of leftist and then far-left politics. Students' politics was highly influenced by the Naxalbari movement in early 1970s. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cultural programs. The 28th of January is celebrated as the College Foundation Day. Marked in the evening with a variety performance presented by the students. 
The Foundation Day is followed by three days of the college annual reunion which has academic and cultural programs through the day till evening, an exhibition of painting and photographs in the common room, a tea party in the lawn and ends with a day's annual picnic. The students every year celebrate the traditional Saraswati Pujo. Esculapia, a college cultural festival was launched in 1976. Taking its name from Asclepius the god of medicine in Greek mythology, it consisted of three days of inter-college competitive events of music, quizzes, debates, arts and drama. This festival has been replaced by another five-day festival Rhapsody since the year 2002. Alumni Association Medical College X Students Association is the sole body representing the alumni of Calcutta Medical College. Besides there are alumni associations of Calcutta Medical College in some countries like UK. Notable alumni Madhusudan Gupta, the first Indian trained in Western medicine to dissect a human corpse. Pasupati Bose UN Brahmachari Dr. Keshav Balaram Hedgewar the 1st of April 1889 to the 21st of June 1940, also known as Dr. G, was the founding Sarsang Hashalak of the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh RSS. Arup Chatterjee, British Indian atheist physician, author of Mother Teresa, The Untold Story Nirmal Kumar Dutta Kadambini Ganguly, the first certified South Asian female physician qualified for Western medical practice David Hare, founder of Hare School Bidhan Chandra Roy N.C. Paul, first physician to examine yoga Ram Baran Yadav, first president of Nepal Kamaleshwar Mukherjee, filmmaker Balai Chand Mukhopadhyay